Namaste friends. I am so happy to inform you all that finally we could achieve thickness as well as foam in our soap products. Here I have tried making the potassium hydroxide which is the lye that is used in making liquid soaps using banana peels. Because bananas are high in potassium, I just gave it a try. Research studies have already been done in using plant waste like banana peels, plantain peels and other wood waste to produce sodium and potassium hydroxides by burning them in air and then dissolving them in water to produce these hydroxides so that we can use them as lye in soap making process. After getting the hydroxides, they used a long procedure to saponify using various oils which even I tried in many different ways and combinations but of oils. But the products oils. were becoming thick but then there was no foam generated. Sometimes the products would become thick and other times the oil would get separated. So after trying all these, once I just gave it a try by directly mixing the banana charcoal powder into the lactofermented soap nut citrus products and that amazingly worked out for us. I just started collecting all the banana peels that we eat every day, allowed them to dry on a clothes stand outside. Once they reach the bone dry stage, which is completely dried as a bone, we can simply burn them on a pan inside the kitchen or it is better to do the burning process outside. To burn the banana peels outside, I simply lit the lamp using a cotton wick. Once it catches flame, we can carefully remove the wick and the lamp. Then stir the peels in between so that they evenly get burnt and the peels turn into white colored ash like this. We can gently press them into the fine powder removing all the bigger chunks or we can simply grind them in a mixy jar. Then I took 20 grams of banana peel ash powder and then added 200 ml of deionized water to the ash. Deionized water is used which is the water that doesn't have any other mineral ions so that other elements won't interfere with the saponification process. Then close the lid and just leave the mixture undisturbed for 15 hours so that we can extract maximum potassium hydroxide. I then double boil the liquid ash mixture for 15 minutes in a low flame. Once the solution cools down, we need to filter it. I used 125 mm filter paper to collect the liquid lye. The pH of the solution was around 12 which shows it is highly alkaline. Here is the clear filtrate which is the natural lye that we have made from banana peel ash. This banana peel ash as well as the lye solution made from it both work very well in all our soap nut cleaning products even the vinegar version as well as the lacto-fermented products. They are thickening our soap products and also generating foam. We just have to mix the banana peel ash or the lye solution into our products till we get the desired consistency. The thickness of the product slightly reduces with time so it is better to mix the peel powder or the lye solution to our products fresh as in when we use them. There is another method to thicken our products. It is using the gum called Gond Kathira or Tragacanth gum. There are two kinds of edible gums available in the market. One will be little shiny and golden color and other will be creamish and little dull color. We are going to use the dull one which is called Gond Kathira. It is creamish in color. So actually these gums are produced by the plants, stems or roots when they get so some plants wound. produce these resins and gums to heal those areas. So similarly when we use these edible gums internally or externally it heals our skin. So when we use these gums to thicken our soap products it will be gentle on our skin and protect us from the harsh acids and the salt present in the products. Just take a tablespoon of the gum and add around 150 ml of water and its texture completely changes into snow like appearance. Take a teaspoon of the swollen edible gum and add it to 
200 ml of our product just grind them together and we get a nice thick product so like this, this is how the products look after we mix them in our soap net cleaning products i hope you have all understood three different ways to thicken our soap net cleaning products if you have any more questions please join unify eco-friendly products telegram group and all your questions will be answered thank you